hope you're having a great day. If this is your first time here, welcome to the family. Feel free to move around and explore our content on pharmaceutics and self-care. You will find various playlists on both topics that I'm sure you will enjoy watching. And if you are already a member, welcome back. In today's video, we continue with suspensions. I hope you digested what we've discussed about pharmaceutical suspensions so far. I'll put links to the various videos about pharmaceutical suspensions we have uploaded earlier in the description box for you. In this video, we will look into how to prepare suspensions in the lab or extemporaneously. But before getting into it, I'd like you to comment with an answer to the following question. What do you think are the ingredients or exhibits that go into pharmaceutical suspensions? We will reveal the right answer to that question in our next video on suspension. Now, we will be more focused on the technicality of preparing suspensions. I will start by putting out the general steps for preparing suspensions, then we will get to see a real-life example afterwards. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, usually, in a pharmaceutical suspensions, there would be solid ingredients and liquid ingredients. So, the first thing to do usually is to weigh the solid ingredients. Next, we pre-measure the liquid ones. The third step depends on the type of the ingredients in the formulation to be prepared. If there are certain solids that can be dissolved in the vehicle, then these solids are usually dissolved in the vehicle in a suitable container, using the specific amount that would dissolve them. If not, then we go directly to step 4, and that is to transfer the powder to be dispersed to a mortar, then to add a small amount of the vehicle to make a paste, and continue adding the vehicle till this paste is of a pourable consistency. The resultant suspension is transferred to a suitable measure, let's say conical. Then the mortar is rinsed with the vehicle and the rinsings are added to the conical so that all the material in the mortar is transferred to the conical. When we are sure that the mortar is clear, we add the liquid ingredients to the conical. Then we make up to the volume required using the vehicle. Finally, we stir, then we transfer the prepared suspension to the container. Okay, now let's see how it's really done. And here we acknowledge Dr. Lawrence DeVito for the nice work we are showing next. We will put the link to his channel in the description box for you. His content is really super and we do urge all of our family members to check it out. It's also pharmaceutics and you will love it. Thank you again Dr. DeVito and now let's dive in. The following procedure is to prepare alpyranol hydrochlorothiazide suspension. As we said, we start by weighing the solid ingredients. First, the allopurinol is weighed from crushed tablets powder. Then the required number of the hydrochlorothiazide capsules are emptied. Both powders are mixed geometrically. After getting uniformly mixed powder, we move to the next step, adding the liquid components. Here is a bit different from what we've said in the earlier steps. Usually, we said like we pre-measure the liquids before starting the procedure, but here we are going to measure the liquid while we're working. It's okay other ways and there are lots of schools to follow in pharmaceutics compounding. So it's okay, don't worry, as long as you have your final preparation is well compounded, it's not a big deal. 
what procedure actually did you follow? So for adding the liquid suspending agent, we put the pestle in the middle of the mortar and then we press gently to create a hole. We add some of the suspending agent there and then we start triturating gently. If you see that it's sticking on the pestle, don't panic, it's okay. Continue adding the suspending agent and sitting gently. Don't press too hard or else you will get some clumps there. Use the rubber spatula to scrap the drug from the pestle every once in a while and also from the sides of the mortar. Continue adding these small amounts of the suspending agent till you get the smooth slurry. Then you can start adding the suspending agent or the remainder of the suspending agent geometrically till it finishes. The next ingredient we have here is a sweetening agent. And this is measured here by the same conical used for measuring the suspending agent. After measuring the sweetening agent, pull the suspension from the mortar to the bottle. Use the sweetening agent to rinse the mortar and the spatula at the rinsings to the bottle and continue doing that until everything is clean. After finishing, close the container, shake well and you are done. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Until next time, stay fabulous wherever you are.